I'm here with Peppley, and his owners tell me that he's not real good walking on a lead. So I thought I'd work on that today. Um, I'm going to use just an ordinary lead and collar. Uh, there are choker collars and choker leads that you could use that uh, put a little more pressure on the dog to follow your lead, but um, I like to only use those in certain special circumstances. What I'm going to do is in stages. First of all, I have treats in my pocket so I can reward good behavior. I'm going to first hold the lead and follow him around and let him lead the way. And after we've done that for a while, I'm going to try giving little slight correction tugs to get him to come in the direction I want. And I'll be using the, the treats in my pocket to reward him. So let's see how that goes. Peppily? Peppily, come on, I got treats, come on, no, no, on this side, this side, come here, good boy. Good boy, look, 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 good boy. No treat if he doesn't follow me correctly. This way, come around, come on. Come around. Let's go. Let's walk. Come. Good boy. Let's walk. Let's walk. Come on, walk. Over here. No, no, no. This way. Over here. Good boy. We can even treat him as if he's a show dog and see if we can get him to stack freely. Come here. Come on. That's very nice. Good boy. Best way to get a dog to sit is to give a slight upward tug on the lead when you stop. So watch this. Peppily. Peppily. Come here. This way. Right. Peppily. Sit. Sit. Good boy. We would have to repeat that behavior with the treat, with the word sit, over and over. It's five minutes a day. This way. This way. Good boy. Come here. Come, 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 come. Sit. Good boy. He did it faster that time. All right, one more time. Let's go this way and around. Come on. Sit, sit. Good boy. Sit. He does it better when there's a treat involved. You're a good boy. All right. You're good. Yes. Very good. 